are talking about sleep all week long here, and more importantly, how to get a good night's sleep, which is crucial. Dr. Nicole Short is an assistant professor over at UNLV here to talk about the psychology of sleep. And I think that's one thing that a lot of us, when we think about trying to get a good night's sleep, it's the food we eat, or you know, should we wear a certain kind of pajamas, or should our pillow be a certain height, which isn't insignificant, but how much is the mind important when we try and get a good night's sleep? Yeah, so I think that all of the environmental factors definitely play a role. Um, but for people who have trouble sleeping, a lot of times they've already addressed a lot of those factors. And so in that case, the mind plays a really big role. Um, and a lot of times people feel like they can't turn off their mind or they can't really relax. And that's when I think the psychology comes into play. So what is it in our mind that <laughs> prevents us from, from getting a good night's sleep? What is it about our, our bed that doesn't motivate slumber? Yes, so that's a great question. So essentially what we would like is for our bed to be associated with sleep and restfulness. So ideally when you're in bed, all you're doing is either sleeping or you're very sleepy. Um, but unfortunately when we have trouble sleeping, a lot of time people are spending a lot of time in bed that is not sleep. So you know, how do you feel when you're laying in bed trying to sleep and you can't? Frustrated. Yes, <laughs> you feel frustrated, anxious, annoyed, um, and none of those feelings are conducive to sleep. And you know, when, when I, in my own experience, and maybe you at home as well, you feel like, you know, if you at least are lying in bed, you're resting. But you're suggesting that's, that's not the case. So what should we do if we're in that position and we start to think yeah. about, how do we fall asleep? Yeah, <laughs> so that's a common misconception. Um, so. Some people are lucky enough to be able to just lay in bed and never have trouble sleeping and they can just do everything in bed. But if you do have trouble sleeping, um, it, it would be recommended that if you can't go to sleep within about 15 to 20 minutes to actually get out of bed, do something kind of boring for a while, like maybe read a book, do a puzzle, nothing too stimulating, and then go back to bed when you actually feel sleepy. Don't check your phone, for example. That's right. like the exact opposite, right? Exactly, because that's going to get you more wired up. Hmm. And when you hear people talk about they're having a hard time sleeping, mm -hmm. When does it reach a point where it's not just, I can't get to sleep for whatever reason, but it's, it's a clinical thing. It's right. something that they need treatment for. Yeah, so when we're looking for insomnia disorder, we're looking for it happening pretty much more than half the night, so very often, and at, for at least three months. So if you've had trouble sleeping about half the time for about three months, that's when you should start thinking about seeing someone. It's, it's, it's a big issue, obviously, and especially in Las Vegas, we all work such weird hours, not just on the morning show, but just with the nature of our community. Uh, Dr. Short, just hang on for a second. We're going to talk some more uh, about sleep here mm -hmm. on Good Day Las Vegas and hopefully getting you better sleep as well.